Hi! Welcome back to our channel and thank you for subscribing and liking our videos. In continuation of our anti-malware series, check out my previous review of malware bytes. Today I've chosen Avira free antivirus to review. Yes, that same Avira one so popular yet still going strong. Two reasons convinced me to do it. One, the vendor states that it blocked spyware, adware, ransomware. And two, it is free. It's 2022 outside, which means Avira should be upgraded with tools and practices according to today's risks and challenges. So let's see if it is together. About Avira Antivirus, made in Germany, this sentence alone makes many software customers happy and confident. Indeed, founded in 1986 in Germany, Avira has been one of the first antivirus producers, and in 2021 it has been acquired by Norton LiveLog from the USA and now is a part of Norton Avira LiveLog business line. Avira Free Security Antivirus comes with two crucial features – scanner and real-life protection mode. Their capabilities claims to cover ransomware, trojans, worms, viruses and all kinds of online threats. The basic version is free, but it is limited to one device and 500 megabits per month traffic for VPN, which is also a part of it. As for Windows 7 in particular, and that is because the support of it by Microsoft has ended, Avira Antivirus remains compatible with Windows 7, also until the end of 2022 only. Windows 10 is recommended. I have Windows 7, so it will be a good testing ground. In addition to antivirus functionality, this Avira product offers a VPN, several browser extension, anti-tracker, ad blocker, password manager, file shredder, driver updater, startup optimizer, etc. How good are these tools in free edition? We'll check out for sure. Antivirus scan. Let's start with the obvious and most important thing antivirus scan. As I install and run Avira, I get this message before I can even open the program. Let's run your first smart scan. OK, I see imcoms through privacy issues, performance issues, viruses, outdated apps, networks, threats, and I got no viruses. Good. Yet it detected some other issues. Fix all issues? No. Let me see the details. Outdated app, privacy settings, browser cookies, registry entries, startup apps. Good, but my task right now is antivirus, so I skip. Also, let me change the skin real quick. Yes, Avira has dark and light skins, and I select light. On top here, I see a notification that antivirus protection is on and last update status never, but as I click check for updates, nothing happens. I'm navigating this first tab called status, by the way, and it split issues into three categories – security, privacy, and performance. There's also the update section in settings, so maybe Maybe if I try to set it this way, it will work. Automatically update virus definitions every 12 hours, 30 minutes the smallest frequency. I still haven't got the antivirus scan, so let me go to the security tab – virus scan. Quick and full scans – the usual suspects. First I go with the quick scan – check most vulnerable areas. Zero threats. Super quick. Second full scan of the entire computer. Two seconds and done? What? Zero threats and zero items scanned? Is this a joke of some kind? There's also the manage scans option, let's see. Five types of scan to configure – full, quick, active processes, removable drive and Windows system scan. Maybe I run a system scan? Same, zero items scanned. Maybe I can run a full scan from here? There is a run now button? No, I can't. I click it but nothing happens. So maybe I'll try a custom scan then? Select Select a folder, say program files, and set it to daily. Run it now? No. I can't do it either. Well, I'm not liking this whatsoever, to say the least. Let me see other options in the security tab. Protection options. Real time is off. Of course, it has to be on. Click turn on and again nothing. Below three sections and displayed real time, web and ransomware protection with on or off toggles. Trying to set any of it to on leads me to notification to purchase Avira Prime. There is also a trial for 60 days, but it requires a payment methods to be specified right away. Price is subject to change is my favorite part. Additional options unavailable in the free version, that's understandable. But not working full virus scan? That is an anomaly for sure. I had to double check it. I went to my colleague with a mug and asked him to install the VR and run a scan. It worked. 
So what's wrong with my Windows version? The last resort was to try repairing the installation through the control panel. Programs change. And it fixed it. I went back to launch a full scan and it started running properly. Results 7 minutes log 181,598 items scan 6 threads. Let me inspect the thread detected. 1 .xe file, 1 Edward TMP file, and 4 PUA files, potentially unwanted applications. All fixed, which means quarantined and I have to restart my PC to finalize. Detection is positive, yet I don't like the automatic fixing. What if I don't want all those files removed? In my case, the .xe file is legged. I'd prefer options on how to proceed. Let me also repeat a quick scan. 6865 items checked. Zero threads found. Now that my AVR works properly, let me also check those other options I had been struck by not working. Real-time protection is on and working. Mm -hmm. This is important. Web and ransomware protection available only in Prime as expected. Check for updates. It works now. Done. 22 items in quarantine. After the first full scan it was 6, but ok, let me see. The good news is that here I can select which files to delete and which files to leave as is. So I select the ones I'm sure about and delete them. So the bottom line, I guess, is this. A bumpy start, but now we are on track to move further. Real-time protection. Virus scanning is one thing, but active monitoring to not let any viruses and or malware through it much more significant in our day and age, I'd say. Avira has real-time mode, so I have to test it. Test standard. PC Intel R Core i5-3470, CPU 3.2 GHz, 8 GB RAM, Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. First off, let me check if it is enabled, just to make sure. Yes, as a previous reviews, I will use ACAR test virus files. ACAR.org is the European Institute for Computer Antivirus Research. It offers several files that are harmless yet contains virus properties. ACAR.com, 68 character string inside. Acar.com docs.txt, a copy with a different file name. Acar.com.zip contains the test file inside a zip archive. Acar.com2.zip, a zip containing the previous zip. Malwarebytes web protection should block those files if I try to download them, right? I'm saving the first one. Strangely, it says that I don't have the right to save files to my desktop what and offers me to save in the user folders instead, and then repeats the same message as I try to actually save in the user folder. This really gets to me. What happened to Avira? It used to be a perfectly working software a few years back. I am saving it to yet another folder and I get the security warning from Avira. It blocks this acar.com file from downloading and move it to quarantine. Good. It also says a scan is running, but I see no scan. Checking the quarantine, yes, it is there. Now I'm downloading the second file, txt. It should be blocked the same way the previous file was blocked, but it isn't, no problem in downloading. The third and the fifth files, both zips, same downloaded and saved without any alerts. This is not good, not good at all. As an alternative, let me use amtso test files to double check. amtso.org, anti-malware testing standards organization, an international non-profit union of security experts who design testing protocols for unbiased analysis. They have six different tests for desktop applications. Download malware. Similar to ACAR, the test is to download a malware file and see if it is let through failed due to insufficient permissions. So I can say this is due to the actual malware detection or due to some bug in Avira. Detect PUS. Potentially unwanted application test file. It doesn't get downloaded and when I use a save link as option, it is blocked too. So by Chrome, not by Avira. Detect drive-by malware downloads. Drive-by are downloads authorized yet without understanding the consequences or unauthorized downloads. Test file simulates opening of a new web page from where a file is being downloaded automatically and without asking. My result? Download failed, but again due to insufficient permissions, so detection could not be confirmed. Detect phishing pages. A new page opens indicating that Avira does not protect from phishing attempts. Download compressed malware. Various archived files with malware, zip, rar, 7-zip, ACE, 
CAB jar. I've tried to save all of them, but all have been stopped by Chrome browser. IVR detection unknown. Detect connection to cloud-based systems. If files of a PC are connected to external cloud-based system or storages, it should be detected and fletched. Such files are included in the test and have been blocked again by Chrome. Therefore, IVR detection unknown. Okay, now let me try another tactic. Visiting malicious websites. I google it and besides a car, I see the site called malicious website test. It should be blocked, but it is not. It opens without problem. Not good. To try one more website and to follow the same protocol I did in previous review of more webites, I'm typing runt1132 download in the search and opening this risky website that is known to contain a test or junk. Also not blocked. So no web protection in fact. The last task I quest is to scan file on PC for viruses or malware. I have three ACAR file plus several compressed test files with malware. Again, I'm surprised that the Avira scan option is not added to the right-click context menu, so how do I scan individual files? Maybe there is something in settings? No, I see no such option. So the only way is manage scans, where I can schedule a custom scan and then click run it now. Wow, what a UX in 2022, right? I had all my files saved to desktop, so I scan it, threads detected and quarantined, including those files that I attempt to save previously, 11 total. But three archived files are not detected. A brief summary. Active detection of threads is weak, I'd say, although only one shield, real-time, out of three, web ransomware shield, is available in this free antivirus edition, so probably this is the reason. Tools. As we can notice, in this severe edition there are more tabs beside antivirus, so clearly we have to explore it all. Of course, it would be nice to check web protection and ransomware protection modules too, but those are reserved for Avira Prime paid subscribers. And it could be worth reminding that my task here today is reviewing OER free antivirus specifically. So in the security tab, where virus scans and quarantine are accommodated, we also have a software updater tool scanning and it found one update. Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable, which is not crucial. And 8 applications were scanned. Update and I have to unlock it by purchasing a VR Prime, so actually no updates can be conducted. Moving on. Next in the Privacy tab, Housing Browser Extensions, VPN, Password Manager, File Shredder, etc. Let's see. Browser Safety, which is one of three extensions installed along with the VR installation to Chrome, in my case, Chrome, Firefox and Opera supported. It is aimed at blocking malicious website as well as tracking cookies and ad banners. All three add-ons are not enabled by the way, but okay. So I'm turning it on and going to visit some website, say bbc.com, and zero ads or trackers are detected and here is a pop-up proving the point. To prove it even more, if I may say it like that, let me check another ad blocker. You block. 16 ads blocked. Well, let's double check and visit a website with many more ads. Daily mail. Zero again by Avira and 11 ads blocked by uBlock. Another extension, Save Shopping. I'm not sure what it does, its page in the Chrome store says it should find good price deals from trusted shops. I need to search for products as I normally would and it should offer me deals. Let me try, I'm typing summer shoes discount and checking some random website with shoes. Then trying to access the extension or wait for it to display any notifications or whatever. But nothing comes up. Okay, it's pretty enough for me to say that these extensions are useless. Next is VPN, a great tool for these days. I'm turning it on, it connects to the nearest location, but very slowly. Oh, I can't wait for so long, let me check Google for my location, so I'm virtually in Slovakia. Here on the right I see my monthly traffic limit in my free security version surely, which is 1 GB. I have barely browsed anything and 100 MB has been already consumed. This is ain't right. Advanced settings, color scheme for a dark to light, wow, very advanced. More locations only in Pro, obviously. Let me open a few more pages just to check the traffic count. Yes, it goes away like crazy. And in fact, the limit was reached in the next 3 minutes. Password Manager 
it directs me to the web dashboard where I have to log in or sign up and then log in. It will store all passwords and then autofill them in browser and mobile phones. Well, based on my experience with Avira so far, I'm not ready to entrust my password to it. Sorry. File Shredder, a little utility designed to delete files irreversibly. That is, there would be no way of recovering them ever. Let me try on some pictures. Done, works fine. The last option here is privacy settings, with two variants, recommended and custom. I'm going to custom to see what's inside. These are detailed settings to various system elements such as media, telemetry, networks, sensors, search, history, user activity, and so on. For instance, sharing data with Microsoft and one of the recommended settings is to do not inform Microsoft if a system gets infected with malware. Well, but I'd like them to be informed, so uncheck. Dozens and dozens of such parameters here, so TechGeek would probably love to dig in. Moving on to the performance tab. Optimizer helps to free up space and speed the PC performance. 600 44 megabytes files to remove and for startup apps that slow down my PC. This includes temps files, catch files, logs, crash dumps, unused files, and so on. Funny that Skype and Greenshot are considered slowly at startup, but no mention of Avira. Full optimization not available in this reversion. Better saver, this is a part of another product, Avira System Speedup, and offers to switch between three power modes. Only in Pro, of course. Driver updater, keeping drivers up to date should improve the overall performance. Scanning and my drivers are all good, all 69 good. Duplicate finder, it is also launches Avira System Speedup up only in Pro. Advanced tool, same story. It analyzes apps that start with Windows and offers to disable some of them. Game Booster for better gaming performance. Go straight to the pricing page. Not much use in this step too, to be honest. Now going back to the main status page to check in again. It performs a brief scan of all areas, finds some issues, but for me, the main point so far is that my PC is free from viruses. Summary. Well, that was Avira Free Security, an antivirus with some additional tools. Most of those tools are questionable. Virus scanning works and detects threats, as well as real-time protection mode can detect incoming infections. That's unfortunately all the good things I can say about this product. How so? Let me go through all key vendor claims. Lightweight? Wrong. My startup time has increased significantly, and these are not just one, but six Avira-related processes running at all times. All the protection you need? Wrong. My series of tests prove that while virus scanning works fine and detects threats, active mode is too weak to be released upon 100%. I feel like I'm in the episode of Mice Buster right now, by the way, but I will continue. Say goodbye to scammers and hackers? Wrong. Once again, in my test, I have neither seen the detection of malware nor the blocking access to malicious web pages. Make your devices feel like new again? Wrong. This goes back to being lightweight, no signs of actual PC optimization or improvements. On the contrary, I got a longer startup and multiple unnecessary processes running. Browser safety? Wrong. A web page with malware opened during my test and the browser extension that was supposed to block tracking cookies didn't work at all. And Anonymous in everything you do? Unclear. If this implies VPN, the Avira free version is too slow and limited in traffic, so you won't be able to use it properly anyway. Surely we cannot demand much from a free software which basically acts like a trial version for Avira Prime antivirus. To me, this example only proves one again to notion that nothing is free. In other words, nothing doesn't, valuable or worthy is free. So here we are at the end of my humble review. Do you have any thoughts about it? Let me know in the comments below and see you soon.